The board will continue punishing at least 10 districts on Thursday, including Leon County. ABC 27's Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders looks at what those penalties will be. According to updated info online, the state will again be going after district wallets. Florida's Ed Commissioner making a case for those penalties in letters that he sent to the State Board of Education. In his letters, Ed Commissioner Richard Corcoran recommends Florida's Board of Education approve what are essentially monthly wage garnishments for these non-compliant school boards. It'll be a loss of thousands of dollars each month until those schools offer required parental opt-outs. Corcoran saying, quote, every school board member and every school superintendent has a duty to comply with the law, whether they agree with it or not. And that's not all. Corcoran also wanting to cancel out help from the federal government, calling for further cuts. Comes after U.S. Ed officials started paying back districts hit with losses last month. We got your back and we want to make sure we deliver on that. Both Alachua and Broward were rewarded for following CDC masking guidance despite state sanctions. I want to applaud all the individuals out there, the leaders who are working hard to put these measures in place. The nation's Surgeon General even giving them kudos for following the science during a recent interview. We know that universal mask mandates work. They significantly reduce the chances that there'll be outbreaks in schools. We've seen that already during the last month. Florida's governor, however, remains opposed to masking mandates on principle. There's parents whose kids have not done well wearing the masks all day and is cast doubt on their effectiveness. He continues to believe parents, not districts, should have the final say. Again, the State Board of Education will consider those penalties Thursday afternoon at 1 o'clock. This is a teleconference meeting, but the public is welcome to listen in. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.